What's up guys? This is JD with ADHD RC. I'm just making a really quick video. A couple of guys have been asking me lately how to run an 8.4 volt servo off of a Traxxas receiver or how to run the two together. And a lot of guys say you can't do it, blah, 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 whatever. You can do it, it's really simple. You just need to bypass uh, the power. You can't run the power uh, into the receiver because well, you'll you'll completely cook it. So what you need is you need your BC, you need a receiver, whatever you need, you know, all the stuff that you need, <laughs> and then a servo. Um, so what you're gonna do is, you know, you have to hook these up directly to the battery, the one that I'm using. I'm not gonna do that because I already have one installed. But for now, I'm just gonna plug these. Hopefully, I can get these to squeeze in here. But. <sighs> So go ahead and hook yours up, you know, your BC up or whatever. And then the reason you can't run the receiver out there, you can't run the servo through the receiver, run the power through the receiver, is because there's an 8 volt um, power supply, 8.4 volts, whatever you set it to. Five, this particular castle one is 5 volts to 8.4, or actually 9 volts, I think. So <clears throat> to make this work, what you're going to do is you're going to just bypass the power supply on the receiver. So you just get yourself some extenders like this. You can make your own plugs, whatever. For this, I'm just going to I'm just going to work on this. I'm not going to make a permanent solution just to show you. So you take your plug, you know, make sure all right, you peel the red wire off, right? Just separate it. Okay. Now you can build your own plugs. The kits are pretty cheap. Then you don't have to worry about peeling them off or splicing it, whatever. But, and then cutters here. And then you're gonna want to cut that. All right, that power wire. Okay. So one end of it's not gonna do anything anymore. And the end that's coming out of the servo, you're gonna want to splice that. Like I said, you're gonna want to make good connections. You know, build your own plug or whatever, whatever you decide to do. So, right, and then <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna get another one and we're gonna plug that into the receiver like this. And then again, we're gonna take that red wire out. Right, and we're gonna splice it. And then we're gonna splice the end coming out of the servo like this, right? And then basically all we're doing, I'm sure you can kind of get the theme here, is that we're gonna connect the power coming out of the BEC into the power on the servo, and we're just gonna run it like that, right? And then, and then just hook it up like normal. But now you're gonna to need to run on both channel one. So this is going to go into channel one. And then this is also going to go into channel one. Right. And then now when you, when you power this up, the power is just going to be bypassed the receiver. And then, you know, you're going to get power directly from the BEC, and then the receiver is still going to be powered from the ESC like normal. So you're not getting receiver power from the BEC anymore. So then you just plug that deal in. And that's it. There you go. I already set mine to 8.4. You need to hook, you know, hook yours up to the computer or whatnot. And then set whatever voltage you want. And you can take a voltmeter and test it. It's 8.4 volts. And you're just basically bypassing the receiver and running it straight into the servo.